38 years, I guess I'd have to be, right? I've seen guys get caved in. I've seen them buried. Those were the old days before shoring and before safety. We had no shoring at the time. You need shoring to keep them safe. I wouldn't go in a hole without it. And anybody in my crew has every right to tell me they're not going to go in a hole without it. 245 is the framework for trench safety. Each one of those numbers represents a point at which actions have to take place to protect those in the trench. The two represents the point at which spoils, the dirt coming out of the trench, or any tools or other materials have to be moved two feet away from the entrance to the trench. The reason this is important is because it keeps those materials from falling in the trench. Four represents four feet, at which point a ladder or other device has to be placed in the trench to allow individuals to enter and exit the trench safely. Five represents five feet, at which point shoring or other protective devices have to be placed in the trench to protect those in the trench. You gotta have it, you gotta have it to stay safe. Like I can tell the guys, it doesn't matter how long it takes as long as we do it safe. You always have some guy up top watching you, making sure that you're safe. Two, four, five, it's gotta be right. Go into a hole, you be aware of where you are and what you're working with. We can't get in trouble, we won't get in trouble for doing it the right way. Don't get in the hole without a box. The two, four, five rules. Important for your safety. Be aware of your atmosphere. Be aware of what you're doing, your surroundings. If you see something, Say something. If you have a question about anything, ask the question. I sleep a lot better knowing that we're working safe. Anytime that you don't focus on safety or let one of those numbers actually get away from you, that's a serious accident. That's the ultimate goal, not to get hurt. There's no comparison from MPL to other companies. I don't want to work anywhere else. 